Elvis Presley was such a big Star Trek fan he named his horse after the sci-fi show, a new documentary reveals. The king of rock and roll is also claimed to have once recorded 35 tracks in just five nights, according to The Seven Ages of Elvis, which has been made to mark 40 years since the superstar's death. Presley's co-star in Live a Little, Love a Little Celestial told the Sky Arts film, Elvis was a Star Trek fan. He even had a horse named Star Trek. The actress had appeared on Presley's favorite TV show just a year before they worked together. She said, first day on set, Elvis gave me the biggest hug, and he said, I just couldn't wait to meet you. I knew you were coming. And I know you from Star Trek. We became very, very dear friends and very close very quickly. The musician's former bassist Norbert Putnam told the documentary about a prolific recording session in June 1970. No one had ever accomplished that much work. And it couldn't have been done with any other artist. He would learn a song in two or three takes. And Elvis would say, let us do it. Come on guys. It's almost like an athlete, like, give me the ball, I'll score. Yes pumping. Yes saying, guys, we re going to nail this first take, come on dot. And, he de nail it, first time through. Yes phenomenal, and he just heard this song for the first time ten minutes ago dot. It is also claimed he bought his Graceland mansion for his mother Gladys in 1957 because neighbors at the first house he got her complained about her raising chickens. The documentary features a number of those people close to Presley who have never spoken about him on TV before, including high school friend Blanche Jordan Scott, army buddy Bill Norville, and session musician Charlie McCoy who played on 10 Elvis albums.